Spits are formed where the line of the coast changes, but the longshore drift carries material on. A river estuary is a good example. Longshore drift carries material along a straight line out into the sea. When enough material has been deposited, a spit forms. And there are several examples along this part of the coast. These dunes mark out Harlech Spit. They've built up because so much material has ended up here. There's not just one line of dunes, but several, stretching all the way to the end of the spit, nearly six kilometres that way. The spit itself is massive, almost completely cutting off the river estuary behind it. The reason for this accumulation is the change in the direction of shoreline north of the spit, there, the Hlein Peninsula sticks out 50 kilometres to the west, acting like an enormous groin, halting the onward movement of material. Over the course of nearly a thousand years, the area has changed enormously. Originally, the castle would have been on the coast. Then longshore drift and deposition have created a spit across the estuary mouth. material trapped behind the spit has formed a marsh. Saltwater tolerant plants have grown, trapping more sediment and the area has turned from marsh into land. <laughs> 